right what's going on everybody blaze here coming at you with another naruto shinobi collection character showcase art time we're gonna be showcasing this new masked man and if you haven't noticed yeah i have pulled him and um i should put a uh, screenshot of what i pulled it was some godly pull some jp player only level pull i uh, put it on twitter put it on the um the community tab and i stopped in the discord too and uh yeah man I, I can't believe i pulled all those characters off this um that multi and that multi was with free stones too i'm telling y'all man sometimes just just saving up the stones for pvp and doing all the free missions man that shit can get you some good stones but um yeah let's go ahead and showcase this dude right here i think he was worthy enough of the max nindo especially considering that in 10 10 event he is a point booster and he's one of the top point boosters so max nindoing him would um make it a lot easier for me to go ahead and grind that uh 10 10 mission to get all those gears out of that shop so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and grind all those gears after i get done with this showcase i may throw up another showcase after him but uh yeah i don't know which character i'll showcase because i've been um I've been like leveling up and maxing out a lot of characters, so I might just start just dropping showcases like out of control. So don't be surprised if you see that a lot. Um, without any further ado, let's get into it. Uh, first skill is Tail Beast. It's fast, chalk cost is 90. What it does is deal 7% plus 500,000 to one enemy. If the enemy is a Konoha, high chance to ignore resistance and inflict the fear state. And the fear state? No, uh, excuse me. He'll deal an additional hit dealing 300,000 fixed damage while under the blood life state. And the fear state. Now I can say it. All enemies speed minus 70% and cast speed minus 1. The max is 350% speed and minus 5 in cast speed. That alone is probably why I um gave him the uh, max nindo, especially considering that if I can drop somebody's cast speed that low and their speed that low, he's he's going to be really good at PvP. If I can get an opportunity to do that, he'll be um really good at PvP and he has a chance to cancel. That's the best part right there. That shit is crazy. So in PvP, he'll be solid. Now, um... If he can get it, the, the part about it I didn't like was that he's single target and he uses the to nine tails to hit you with a giant tail beast bomb, which is like, what the fuck? How was that? How was him nuking a mountain the side the, a single target skill? But, you know, hey, I guess it makes sense because it'd be kind of broken if he could do that entire that thing to the entire team, dropping someone's cat, his cast speed minus five and their speed minus 350 percent. That would be broken if he could do it to everybody. But, eh, oh, well. All right, his second skill is summoning. It's fastest, chalk cost 70. What it does, his own attack is buffed by 100% and he'll grant a high chance to dodge skills in the blood life state. In the blood life, speed plus 100%, cast speed plus one, and chalk cost minus 50. So this dude is gonna be really good. Like I said, he was worthy of the max nindo. He's worthy of it. Uh, his first skill is leader type invoker of disaster, incoming wind, space time, and ceiling, and ceiling skill damage minus 50%, which is, um, I guess, to counter Kushina, Minato, and Naruto. Which doesn't make sense because not every Minato and Naruto are like wind and space time. I think most of the Kushinas are ceiling. But um, yeah, most of the Minatos and Naruto's aren't space time and wind. So it's kind of weird. Like some of them are unique and some of them are like tail beast and whatever else it would be. Or sage too. So yeah. Um, ability one, cool headed carefulness. For two turns, his speed gets buffed by 200%. And uh, he's immune to all skills. Uh, ability two, eyes deep in the mass. When HP reaches zero, within he'll withstand three attacks. His speed gets buffed by 100%, 150%. And um, after the that's after the first withstand though, so that's pretty solid right there. I went ahead and gave him a, um, the cast speed buff right there. And as for his gear, his uh, orange mask it uh, buffs his cast speed by one, and attack and speed damage get buffed by 100%. 100%. His um, chains get a speed buff of 80% and chakra recovery plus 30% for two turns. Chakra is set to zero. So he'll be able to attack. That can give us a nice start on that um, dropping cast speed to speed with that first skill. Uh, that's pretty much it right there. His stats looking pretty good. I try to buff his speed as much as possible with the other two gears below the mask and chains. I couldn't, I don't have any um, other character specific gears for this guy right here. And I don't think I really have that many good speed gears, but um, I'll go ahead and give it another look. I just have so many damn gears. I just kind of threw on the first thing I can see. Now, um, this is the team we're going to be running right here. I'm going to run them on two separate teams. I'm going to run them on an intellect characters only team and then a none type characters team. Now, keep in mind, this isn't my ideal none type characters team. If I had my ideal one, I would have my Indra myself. I probably have that birthday Obito, maybe that deleter Obito, that insta kill one. That would be good with this guy on the team. Or lead God Slayer Moderate on there too. But um, this is probably a good, this is a solid enough nun type team. The um, guy lead Moderate I'm running as the leader can um, give nun type characters, what was it? Um, a HP, a defense, 
and attack buff of 100%, if I'm not mistaken. So that's why I'm going to run him on the team and uh, instead of someone else. But I'm going to run Cogby on the uh, intellect characters team because she's very fucking solid. Yeah, it's known. Let me say it right. It's none type characters attack, defense 100%, and speed plus the speed plus 50% for that um, guy lead Madara. So yeah, we're going to run him on this team right here. Now we're going to run this 10-10 event right here. We're probably going to bust through it. So yeah, keep that in mind too. I'm trying to try not to make them attack too much, but uh, yeah. And then we're going to run to the uh, intellect side of the um, team. And then um, I guess I could try both teams in PvP. I'm done with PvP. I got my 200,000 points. I've given up. I'm not going to grind too crazy because I was in like, what was it, like 500, but then I dropped to like, I don't fucking know, like a thousand or some shit. So I just gave up. I was going to go ahead and grind crazy, but um, I got burnt out on it. And I was like, I got other games to play too, so fuck it. Fuck it. We're not going to spend our time on this going crazy like this. So I'm going to go ahead and buff him. Indra, I don't want you to attack because you're probably the best nun type leader in the game. Because I feel as a what do you do again? Champions reward Indra? Yeah, you give nun type characters HP, skill damage, and speed buff of 100%. You are, you are like the most solid nun type character in this team. So, yeah, and we're gonna have this um technique moderating help us with this immunity to skill damage. We're gonna have this moderator change the terrain, give himself some nice little buffs going. Um, if I can just get this guy lead moderator to go, fuck it, I don't care. We're gonna have someone else attack for right now. I love that ultimate too. Oh my god, that was like, what was that like? I couldn't see, it was too damn fast. See what happens when it's too fast? You can't even get a chance to look at it. I hate that shit sometimes. All right, well, I guess this damn godly modder thing gonna go. He too damn slow. So we're just gonna go ahead and just tackle everybody right now. We're gonna hit Rock Lee, because he thinks he can just go ahead and attack, and uh, we're not playing that shit. You're gonna die, bitch. Take this fast forward off. Was that a million plus 900,000? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I think that's exactly what that was. I think it was like a, a one point something million plus a nine hundred thousand. So he can hit for look like it's about two million if the character is right. I have no idea what event he can crit in. So I wish I would know that way I can get those red numbers and see what he could do. I can't think of any Tail Beast one right now that he can crit in. But I think this is good enough of a showcase right here. Yeah, it looked like it was one point five million plus a nine hundred thousand. That's solid right there. I can fuck. I can get behind that. Let me go ahead and buff you again. No, no, no. We're not about to have any of that. No, 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 no. What a Tintin bitch ass doing? She did no damage and I healed. So she didn't do anything. All right, now we're gonna hit this Tintin Rahil because I want his bitch ass to die. Like I said, he's pretty fast too, so. Ah! Hit you with that. Take that bitch. 1.5 million plus 900,000. He hits for over 2 million if the character. Keep in mind, he hits extra hard. Ugh, I can't talk. I think he does extra damage against none type. Not none type. What the fuck am I talking about? I'm going crazy right now. Y'all can fucking be like, what are you talking about, boy? There we go. He can ignore resistance and put the fear state on Konoha allies. Okay. I was wondering. I got confused for a second. I was over there like, does he do extra damage to Konoha? And I was like, no, it doesn't. He just has a chance to ignore the resistance and inflict the fear state, which is actually pretty good because if he can ignore resistance, if somebody is resistant to him, like that little blue triangle that be over there before you do your jutsu, if he hits your, if you um, can ignore your resistance, that means he'll um, still do high damage. That's actually pretty solid right there. Now, um... Let's run him into the uh, intellect type team. Um, do I have an intellect type character, leader, or something? Um, yeah, let's use this Sasuke right here. I won't have him attack. I'll try not to have him attack. This Sasuke is pretty fast, but I should be good. All right, we're going to run this team right here. Kaguya, this fucking broken bitch. This annoying bitch in PvP. She gives, like, if I'm not mistaken, like, a skill damage buff. Hold on, pull it up. There we go. She gives intellect character intellect type characters on maximum hp attack and skill damage buff of 150 fucking percent so we're gonna run her and they're gonna run this miato because this naruto because they're just solid supports and their second skills are really good i'm gonna try not to have miato and naruto attack too much because i think they're extremely fucking fast but uh yeah let's see what he can do with a 150 percent skill damage buff from god lead kaguya and Tintin's by herself so we want to stay here too damn long There we go. 
Had Naruto. Now I want Naruto to go. I want Naruto to try to get a buff off and everything. There we go. Everything's going good now. Your turn now, boy. Let's see how hard you can hit. We're going to take this uh, fast forward off. Hit him with that. Let's see. Boom. You go up, bitch. Come on. 2.7 million plus 1.5 million. Woo! Ooh, ooh, damn. Ooh, damn. That's a big damn. You dead, dead, bitch. <laughs> I know she's sick as hell right now. Ooh, that was a shit ton of damage. All right. This dude is pretty solid. Like I said, he was worth the max Nindo. So let's, um... Mm, Damage-wise, the, the intellect type team is the best way to go. But... If you want to run a nun type team, I understand. Especially, especially if you have none better nun type characters like the um, Insta Kill Obito or the uh, Birthday Obito. Now, I don't know which team I would rather run in PvP. I probably this team would probably be a safer run in PvP, especially considering you might run into some God leads. That God Slayer Madara can help you. This uh, Technique type Madara can help you with the uh, protecting you from skill damage, and then God Lead Madara just help you out with everything else. So we're just gonna run this team in um, PvP real quick because it's probably a safer team to run in PvP. Especially in the later stages of it. In the beginning of it, who cares? You can run whatever you want. Yep, that was very per that was perfect. I used that guy lead model. Woo! I probably wouldn't have made it to make it out of this with that other team. So that came out clutch. Um we'll put the fast forward on now, it don't matter. Uh we're gonna hit God Slayer Madara. Go on ahead. How you do this. And we're gonna have God Slayer Madara kinda just attack every damn body. We're gonna have Obi, not Obi, but Mass Man attack whoever he can because he can drop Caspi and shit. So, okay, and that God Slayer Madara is out of here. We're gonna have this Madara attack every turn now because he's like the fastest unit in the game when he's going up against the God League. Anywhere else, he's kind of meh. Yeah, C Sweet, nah. Drop that Caspi, boy. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and attack you again because this um, pain is right here. So he's going to keep going fast until this pain dies. He's not going to slow down until the pain dies. So pain can stay here for as long as he won't. Up, oh, I guess I could just put this on auto now. I kind of don't really need it. Hopefully that hit Shisui. Yeah, it did. It looked like he dodged, but it looked like he dropped his cast speed and shit too. So we, yeah, we're going to put you in a... Uh, we're going to fuck you up, boy. Come on, ooh, he going again. Boom. He dodged, you asshole. This nigga going off, nah. Okay, whew. I was like, damn, he going off, nah, he's snapping. This damn fucking shit sweet do not want to die. Look at him, bitch ass. That was EX Destroyer model right there. Up, oh, model protect me against the skill damage. Thank God. He removed his state though. I need this motherfucker to die because this is really annoying right now. There we go. You're dead now. Cool. <laughs> you were fucking irritating me. So yeah, he's pretty solid in PvP too. Well, uh, that's going to be it for the showcase right here, y'all. And it looks like the game needs to refresh or re-update or whatever the fuck it's doing. I don't know what it's doing. But uh, that's going to be it for this video right here. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. All that bullshit. This is me, your boy, Blazehood. Peace out.